What's going on guys? It's Wombro. I hope things are good. This video will be uploaded before the ending of my seventh giveaway. I will make sure the winners receive their prize and will be congratulated in the museum. I am now hosting my seventh giveaway. This time it's from Green and I. We are starting a new collection and the next video will be the introduction. 10 winners will receive the first Wombro Green Pride NFTs. If you want to enter, like this video, subscribe, and go to the Gleam link in the description. Today's video won't be about Wombat Dungeon Master, but it could be useful for other creators. It's how I make my thumbnails for this channel. I had naturally found this method by knowing certain features within my smartphone. There is nothing you need to download besides one thing, and that's Snapchat. So in this tutorial, I will be doing an example of a thumbnail that I would create, but this is just to give you a clear understanding of my method, and you could totally branch off into varieties of things. Seriously, there's a lot of options to choose from that you could create in the editor, I would say near endless, and it is also how I make the Wombro Prem NFTs as well. So, number one, I will start by choosing this image. Once I have it cropped and ready, I rotate the image sideways and save it. Then I screenshot the image. At this point, you want to use the screenshot you took and do not rotate it back yet. Two, load Snapchat and tap the pictures icon that's left to the take picture button. Go to your camera roll, select the screenshot of the image that you took. Three, at the bottom left, tap the pencil slash edit icon. This is where you will do all the editing. I literally edit the picture sideways. Number four, I like to start with the Wombat Dungeon Master title. I individually make separate text for each one, Wombat Dungeon and Master. Then I'll decide what color I want and then start making it look like how I make my thumbnails. Five. After that, I usually would add the neon shining text, which I found stunning. And over time, I started changing the colors and making things look different, but still keep the same genre of style and taste. Six, I learned that you could also make the emotes part of the effects as well, meaning that if you put an emote down and applied the neon text to it, the emote would shine neon. Filters are really important for me as well. I use the first filter for most of my thumbnails and the last filter for all Wombro Prem NFTs. Eight, a recent thing I learned is that if you tap the post-it note icon under the draw icon, it will give you options to choose from of Bitmoji related things and even more. This is where my thumbnails are currently headed and I plan to have all my videos from here on out Bitmoji related. Nine, now that you have created your masterpiece, simply hit the back button at the top left and save as copy. This will create a new image saved for you and the previous one is still the same. 10, last, go back into your photos and rotate the image back horizontally and you have just done exactly what I've been doing this entire time. The final note is that if you use this image for a thumbnail on YouTube, it won't fit. So I figured out that if you take one more screenshot of the image horizontally and use that, it will perfectly fit the thumbnail size. And that was today's video. You now know my best secrets. I was inspired by YouTuber Joel Haver because he invented homemade rotoscope animation through video editing and later on revealed how he was able to make rotoscope. That led to other YouTube channels being made. Not saying my thumbnails will make YouTubers, but it can really help with someone who wants to create something. Thank you to my subscribers for supporting Wombro and Green. We really do appreciate the support. I plan to make a guide video soon. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys later. Peace.